Hello and welcome back to the series. Today in this video we will try to find out is it possible to install Windows 35 and Windows NT 4.0 on a modern PC. Are you ready? Let's go. So we have the same PC as before. It's Intel 9 9900K, MSI Z390 motherboard, 32GB of RAM, DTX 1080 and LG monitor with 144Hz rate. I know it's not new anymore, but the problem is, it's all I got. Windows 35 release date is August 24, 1995. It was 28 years ago. If you were watching one of my previous videos about Windows 38 installation on a modern PC, you should remember that I use a special driver called XMGR to prevent memory issues during installation. It worked, so let's use it during Windows 35 installation. The integration is very simple. All you need is to copy XMGR.sys driver to a USB stick. Then open configuration file and type device equals xmgr.sys. Save the changes and try to boot. To start Windows 8 installation, all we need is DOS. You need just type setup.x and the installation will start. Let's do the same but on Windows 35. Let's see what happens. So I just copy Windows 35 files to Windows 98 USB stick which already has MS-DOS inside. Choose an USB stick. This is Windows 38 startup menu. And now we just type CD, Win95, and setup.x. But the error message appears. That's how it looks in English. The fact is that I was trying to install Windows 35 two years ago, and this version of Windows 95 in Russian. So part of the interface will be displayed in Russian. Don't worry, we'll translate the necessary information. To skip the error, we need to do the same actions, which we did during Windows 8 installation. We must use setup parameters. And the setup begins. Nice. But we have the same problems like it was during Windows 8 installation. I mean, my mouse is getting nuts. And as you can see, we have the artifacts. And somehow my keyboard, which is connected via USB 3.0 port, is working well. OK, press next. Reboot. Select the USB stick again. But unfortunately we have a memory error. It says insufficient memory to initialize Windows. We had this error before, and we have solved it using PatchMem. We can also assume XMGR driver can cause the issue. So we will use a default driver, imm.sys. And let's see what happens. And of course we can boot in safe mode. But we have the same issue, which it was during Windows 8 installation. The screen is stuck. But look how great Windows 35 logo is looking on a modern monitor. Beautiful. You may notice here that the loading screen is moving from right to left, but when Windows 8 was booting, it moved from left to right. Don't worry, I have an old PC from 1998. Windows 35 can be installed here without any issues. After a successful installation, we can connect the hard drive from this PC to the modern PC and try to boot from it. But there is a problem. The old PC has ID interface, so we can't connect it to Z390 motherboard. Fortunately, there is a solution. We can connect ID hard drive to another PC from 2005, which has SATA and ID interface. Then, using special software called Acronis, I will create a full copy of ID disk, which has Windows 35 already installed on it. Then write this image to SATA disk and connect it to the modern PC. I know it sounds crazy, but we shall try it. Ok, let's try to install Windows 35. As you can see, there are no artifacts right now. And my mouse is working well too. Ok, the setup begins. Great, Windows 35 was installed successfully. You don't have a refresh button. And we have Pentium Pro? Looks like Windows 35 doesn't recognize the CPU. We have Pentium 2 inside. Ok, let's start Acronis and make the copy. I decided to write it to my USB stick. We can use SATA disk or USB flash drive, it doesn't matter. And now we'll try to boot from it. Let's see what happens. And we stuck again. But now you may notice the loading screen moves in reverse, from left to right. It's very strange. Ok, let's try to boot in safe mode. Unfortunately, we have the same problem. It's stuck. Ok, but what if we try to boot Windows 35 from 2005 PC? It has one core CPU, 
and 512 megabytes of RAM. Let's see what will happen. So I just connect ID hard drive from the old PC and try to boot from it. First, let's try normal. Oh my god, looks like we have a problem with the drivers. Let's try safe mode, but the error message appears. It says Windows security error. Okay, let's go next because I have another PC. This PC from about the same year. This PC doesn't have ID interface, so I will choose my USB flash drive. And we have the same error, Windows security error. And even if we try to use safe mode, it will display the same error. Why is this happening? I think the reason is RAM, because Windows 35 becomes unstable if you use 500 megabytes of memory or more. Unfortunately, I don't have any RAM stick which has less than 512 megabytes of memory for these 2005 PCs. So is it possible to install Windows 35 on a modern PC? The answer is no. Ok, now let's try to install Windows NT 4.0 on a modern PC. The only way to install it is to use a CD-ROM. Go to the boot menu, select in DVD-ROM, press the space bar OK, and the screen starts flickering with the message Boot Scripter. Visa mode graphics animation sequence not available on current system BIOS. Please wait. But next, nothing happens. Ok, maybe we can install it on an old PC, but the CD-ROM which installed in this PC is able to read only certain CD disks. Somehow it can't read the image of Windows 35 which were burned to my CD. So I will try to install it on Dell PC from 2007 and on 2005 PC. We begin with Dell. Selecting CD-ROM. Oh, it's loading. And it just repeatedly reboots. Ok, let's try 2005 PC. Go to the boot menu, selecting DVD-ROM, and BSOD appears. A very familiar error, 7B. An accessible boot device. So is it possible to install Windows 4.0 on a modern PC? The answer is no. That's all, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you later, bye.